Switch the track here. Do you think the others are gonna be okay? These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. You're pets, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even say anything yet. You didn't have to. One squeeze? No. Please? It's not for me, at least for Cloud. I mean, I am curious. How about this? I have the next one. We treat you to a foot massage. It's on now. You're dead. This ends here. Go on. See ya. It's all done. Can you take over for me? I'm coming! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> hey! Help a girl out! Go on! Get ready! Sorry about that. Over here! You'll see! You back off! 
You jittery? Huh. Okay. Hey. You'll see. You move. Get him. Okay. Huh. Someone looks kind of shaky. Here he is. You ready? Don't let up now. Gotcha. This looks like the spot. Let's call him up. Tell him we're here. Cloud! What's our route looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? <sighs> Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through, so buckle up, buttercup. It's fine. It's just a card. It can't kill you. Mm.
You okay? Uh, better than I thought, actually. Guess Cloud didn't feel like completely screwing us over. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Jr. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jr. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know he's with family now. We'll miss you, Cloud Jr. Come on. forward to this. Your homecoming? You'll see. Great Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Hmm? Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes welcome. Leave him alone! Don't. What? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. Word to the wise. Stay far away from that asshole. Now, where'd our buddies in black get to? I'll never forget that day as long as I live. Ain't had no honest work since that damn <laughs> A customer. Day goes by, I don't wonder. Would my husband still be here if we hadn't let them? What you looking at? Don't tell me. Get rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Been out of work for ages. 
Wonder why. When you're hungry. I trust you ain't just window shopping. Hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! The hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <laughs> At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. <laughs> oh. 
Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that, but hell if I know what it is. <laughs> if there's one thing you can count on, it's Dr. Sheeran. Dr. Sheeran's been distributing meals to the people in town. Says it's because he wants to keep them healthy and so, out just between us. Don't mention the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to! Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun! Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. Here in any case, I got a situation. See for yourself. We have one of your roped men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in their head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <sighs> Only option is to save the man myself, or hire the right Merc to save him for me, or the right Merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? What you see is what you get. No hidden codes, ciphers, nothing. But hey, you're the detective. Well, I'm glad one of us is enjoying this. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our rogue friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. No one should ever huh? like, this. like blood and shit. Then. Not literal shit. No. Well, I'll be. Wouldn't recommend going out there.
deal with that. Your scent seems to lead straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Oh. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. <laughs> Aw. You must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <clears throat> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. <laughs> See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. The Chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? <laughs> Cloud, look. They gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use. It's all 
on now. Try to now's our chance. Get in there, but of course to be you. You're going down. There. Gotcha. Come on. Aww, someone need a rest? Just, just like that, okay? Once we found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, Sheeran asked us to rescue his patient. He didn't say anything about how we could deal with the kidnapper. What do you mean? We'll figure it out later. Understood. Thank you. 
Don't overdo it. Okay, let's go. Watch yourself. I'm your one stop club right stop. <laughs> Do it! On it! 
camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> Excuse me? I'm suspicious? Or the robed guy? Who? A smell. Cloud. It's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy, sniffing out the truth? <sighs> okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive! Bury the brat! I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. Keep it together. All set. Uh. Good luck. You won't regret this. Now! <laughs> 
without us. Hear that? Give us the money, or we're gonna... What? <sighs> hey! We told you to stay put! I knew we should have tied him up. <sighs> what? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! <sighs> Let him go. We got our man. <sighs> Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And see for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me. If I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. 
So, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days I'll win you over. Take whatever beds are open. It's time you moved on. There was an accident at the reactor long ago, see? Welcome to North Korea. The coal mining industry here was the largest employer and backbone of the local community. But everything changed with the advent of Mako. As you can see, this village is a casualty of progress. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating huh? possibilities. We ain't go is that the mommy? So join in her lament. Share in her rage. Take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. in soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. Hmm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. 
Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Well then, all in favor? was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. Insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Murderers. Hmm. That they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. Barrett. The saucer's waiting. how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever! The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those frowns upside down! <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Uh. <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page.
Shall we? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Tifa Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Cloud, the others are waiting. Director. And you, sir, are Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we duel? Hmm. 
Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. <laughs> yeah! yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloud. You have what it takes, young man. Come on. Well, all right. You're ready. How can this be? Yeah! Yeah! Nice going. That's quickly done, Cloud. Well fought, young man. Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause! Well, thanks. <laughs> nice punching up there, Cloud. <laughs> A small token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> Snore! Cool. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> thanks! Nicely done. Hey, you were pretty nervous. Cloud's no. used to performing in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. Well, you got to tell me that one later. So, now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Sure. Sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun, Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote, then. Dancy little break! All those in favor! Hmm? Me! Me! Me. <laughs> yeah! Oh, she's pretty boy! Yay or nay? I, uh... 
Have your fun. While you still have time. Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Get some sleep, okay? Hmm, let's see. The hotel's gotta be that way. Raising you. Well, I'm not wrong, but I get your point. Live it up while you can. Future's not promised to no one. This shit. This is what the planet's dying for. This is why we're bleeding our dry. Look at it. Look. All of it, Mako. Siphoned straight from the life stream, from our veins. Hey, get a grip. we have here? A man with a rain cloud over his head. So how about a reading to clear those somber skies? Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just then go shoot in the messenger, eh? This some kind of toy? You too, lads. Eyes up here. Huh. Okay, Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off! and understaffed. Great. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Johnny. <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then... Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? It feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> Toodaloo! Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? But of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right. Hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on! Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait! Don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. See what this crap does. My apologies, sir. You wish to go down, I presume? Fourth floor. 
Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Oh. <laughs> Reservation, under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <sighs> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> you, waitress. you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Johnny's seaside flea trap. I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. But not for fun, just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. thought. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. seen material like this before something about the color didn't peg you as a bookworm
<laughs> Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Biggs. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. How do you know him? I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> <sighs> Sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. <gasps> mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. I'd come see how you were holding up. What? Nothing. Never mind. You're still under the weather, huh? No, I'm fine. Sleep helped. <laughs> so does that mean you'd be up for a little sightseeing with yours truly? Just so happens the Skywheel's running a special for couples. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. soon. Hello there, Cloud. It's not often I see you in the company of a single comrade. Oh, yes. I believe I understand the situation. Forgive me. 
I didn't mean to intrude. You're both overdue for a break. Enjoy yourselves tonight. The Gold Saucer is powered by proprietary modular reactors, but due to environmental concerns, the reactors are cycled between active and dormant states to slow Corel's desertification. Just so you know, I was bitten by a zombie a few days ago. If you want to exchange your points, you'd better hurry before I turn. Do you know her? I do. That's Jessie. She died fighting for Avalanche. You know she was an actress? Yeah. She was a good friend. Not that I deserved one. Just a friend? Or a girlfriend? You can be pretty dense when it comes to that kind of stuff. She gave as good as she got. Never cut me any slack. And yeah, just a friend. Sure was that black and white? I don't follow. You, young man, still have a lot to learn. Right? Well, shall we? Yeah. So, where to next? The races, maybe? Not again. Guess they're done for the day, huh? Bummer. Just think, your friend used to perform on this very stage. Yeah. Would have been fun to see.
tickets for tonight's performance have sold out. Your trusty guide Moomoo is at your service. Please line up here to wait. Too bad our stage is too small for this. But the real problem is us. And the way we go! Attention guests! We're not admitting anyone else at this time. Please come back later. Oh well. Just means more time for us to explore the park. I just wanted to ride the sky. What do you mean we can't ride this if I'm gonna ride the sky? We gotta go to Wonderman Square now. something a certain all-action mercenary might like. Wanna try? But it's for kids. That's what all the old bogeys say. Whatever. Let's see how it stacks up against the real thing.
in order? If so, then it's time to...
big pile of points to trade me? Considering their plumage and breeding, I think the choice is clear. Welcome to Chocobo Square, Koopa. The racing birds here are as chunk as lightning. Here, the feathers fly in high speed. Welcome to the Chocobo Racetrack. Do you currently have a membership with us, sir? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'm afraid our services are for members only. Oh, man. All of our guests are more than welcome to watch the races on the monitors, however. You'll find them just overhead. Oh, Cloud, you're up. Feeling any better? Yeah, you were right. Just needed some sleep. That's good. I am a little surprised to see you, though. Must have been some nap. Uh... Taking a break from the fun? Pretty much. I could feel a headache coming on, so... You okay? Oh, yeah. I'll be fine. I... I'm just not used to all these lights and sounds, is all. But I'll head to the hotel soon. Don't worry. 
Seeing all these chocobos kind of makes me miss Pico. Wonder how he's doing. Congratulations on your victory. What are your thoughts, chocobos? Here you go. You can be this. No, you idiot! Take the inside. Saucer, Park Central is your gateway to fun. Anything that you can do. Interested in joining the fray? Shaky. Sorry about that. Go on! Kind of hot! Go on! This 
Can you handle them? I got this. Yeah. You're as good as dead. This ends here. Like that, okay? Looking for contenders.
and get your spectator tickets for the Musclehead Coliseum! You seem to be feeling better. Yeah. You just chilling here, or...? I'm hiding. Some children mistook me for a mascot. They wanted a photo with me. Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ! Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy! Sir! Sir! Huh? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> you want to be a Space Ranger, too? Prefer to keep my feet on the ground. Welcome, Welcome to cadets, Square. to Space Square. Ranger Let's HQ! Going. Our mission today is a vital one, now. and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy! The Gilgamesh Army is amassing a fleet of star cruisers on the dark side of Moon 7. And you and your squadron will lead our assault and break through the enemy's defensive lines. But we mustn't waver in the face of danger. We must be ready for blast off, Ranger. That's an ancient 
Just fine with your feet off the ground, mister. Good evening, friends of the Gold Saucer. Great news! Skywell Square is now ready for blast off. Many formidable fiends stand in our way. The fate of the universe is in your hands. Greetings, recruit. Here to exchange points. Make us Welcome proud, to Space Rangers. The Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your help. Where would you like to go, Kubo? The Gilgamesh Army is amassing a fleet of star groups. Let's make time, Kubo.
Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. Come on, let's get in line. <laughs> What's going on? I... Uh, I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks! Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. <sighs> Cloud! We've got trouble! Oh. Hi, little guy. What is it? Get to the Colosseum! On the double! Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose! That can't be true, can it? Let's go find out. Sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring! No, uh, excuse me. Please go through this. What the Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. Found a place to train. I need you to step back, please. Get me a sit rep on the other squares. Report back to the director once again. It's like I told you, someone went on a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses, and... a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. 
And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. What Find me like? who did this. I'll make sure they rue the day they besmirched my golden paradise. It is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the Gold Saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians, and ne'er do wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically, another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mugging, maiming, murdering. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Welcome to Korea. 
Jor-El prison, bitch. <laughs> Rise and shine! Huh? Top of the morning to ya! Whoa now! Wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> Alright, follow me. Up, up. <laughs> Off we go! You just wait right there. Hey boss! Your guests are here! to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? The uh, Merc for Hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you, mm -hmm. you, maybe you, mm -hmm. or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, why do you think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the drills. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your piggies. Help us out, Paul. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of them. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Trick. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. All right, Mr. Merc. Let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> well, this is a fine state of affairs. You will get us out of here. Won't you, Cloud? Gus has a thing for vultures. 